Hey y'all, I'm Lucy and I write the blog Paper Glitter Glue and I'm going to show you how to make these cute little birdhouse ornaments. So, the pattern's free on my blog and I'm just, I've already cut one out so let me just show you. First you have to fold along all the score lines and the score lines are on the pattern already. So it just kind of folds so you know where all the score lines are. Whoops, I didn't do that one right. It's okay. I'm using a heavy card stock or kind of a regular card stock. You can use 65 pound. This is actually 110 pound, a little bit sturdier. If you're going to do it like this kind of gingerbread type ornament, then um, do your drawing on the, on the birdhouse before you assemble it. Much, much easier that way. Okay. And there's one main glue tab for the body of the birdhouse. I'm going to use some glue. This is my favorite glue. Uh, Aileen's Fast Grab, but you can use any kind of white glue. You could even use um, tape if you want, like um, scrapbooking tape that on a roll. You can do that. Just kind of line up the bottom. Try not to have glue on your finger. I always have glue on my fingers. Fortunately, it's in the back. All right. And that is it. Now we want to glue on the, what I call the roof flaps and the roof tabs. These are the roof flaps and they help maintain the structure of a little birdhouse. Trying to get little glue blobs off. And they go in. And then these are the roof tabs. Whatever I call a tab means to glue it. Okay. So roof tabs glue to the roof flaps. So it'll go like this. Now let's add some more glue. I'll try not to overdo it. Again. I had glue on this finger and I didn't even know it. See? Okay. So now just fold these flaps down. And there are a couple ways to hold it. My favorite way is to use a little bit of painter's tape. check make sure it looks kind of square and let's get another piece of painters tape for this side get that off so we'll let that dry I've actually got one that's dry already this is a smaller version this is the tiny version this is the small version and here is a small roof. So let me move everything out of the way. So to glue the roof on, again, just apply glue to, to the top of the roof flaps. Make sure your roof is scored and then just hold it down. Uh, see, the back is not quite, so I, it's not really centered on, the roof isn't centered relative to the house, to the birdhouse, so I'm going to change it a little bit. And again, if you want to use some painter's tape, this is how I, this is how I hold down my roofs. Oh, shoot. Make sure it's in the, the line. And I push it forward, so I'm going to scooch it back a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And you can take the back tape the back side as well.
and now just like that you've got your house now there is a ring if you want to um, kind of accent the little ha opening to the birdhouse you can use the, the ring to go there but on the brown ones I didn't do that I just circled them with um, my white pen and so the, the next most important thing is to use a 1 8 inch dowel I guess you could use a twig but I use it I've got a 1 8 inch dowel here and I actually use my garden shears because it, what is I mean it's essentially a twig so I cut it and it fits perfectly in this little hole actually it doesn't it does fit on the small ones when I enlarge the pattern I enlarge that hole I'll go back and change that so don't worry I'll make sure it fits and then apply glue the fastest way would be to use a little bit of hot glue and and uh, so it'll set really quickly um, but you can use white glue too and just give it a little time to dry and then once it's dry you can put a bird on it so I got these cute little birds I ordered online you can find them in hobby stores as well and just you again you can hot glue it or use regular glue you just have to wait longer for it to adhere and so the little bird is attached and also the other thing is there in the pattern there's a base so all you do is apply a thick layer of glue to the bottom here and adhere the the base see? adhere the base the house to the base the base is either two layers of cardboard or two or three layers of cardstock thick cardstock but for something this lightweight the um, the house will hold on to the base correctly okay and that's it oh and then I put it punch a hole you can punch a hole before you glue the roof on if you remember if you don't I just use a, a needle and thread and just put um, put um, like it's embroidery thread through so uh, I made these really short so they wouldn't dangle so much but and then you can apply glue uh, apply snow if you want this is the kind I use sometimes it's hard to find especially around Christmas time it's hard to get it so what you can do is make up your own with white paint white glue mix sand with it or you can use like a, let me see if this is it a modeling paste mix that with some glue and sand and and it actually ends up looking like icing it's pretty thick this way but if you mix it it's much thinner and it makes a really nice coat on top I've done that as well so basically that's how you make the little Christmas ornament the little holiday ornament birdhouse or you can make it for other seasons as well but it's just really cute easy and fast that was kind of the thing a quick win something really cute that's quick okay so for more patterns you can check out my blog paperglitterglue.com and um and i hope you have a happy holiday bye